annuities so first i need to define annuity uh, let's uh, take an example first so let's suppose there is a, a 65 uh, year old old guy and uh, and he wants uh, his retirement so um, he wants uh, a policy which can pay him uh, $10,000 every year so suppose now he's 60 so he's 65 so he wants so when he's 66 that will be the uh, so he wants a payment of $10,000 when he's 67 he again wants a payment of $10,000 and he wants to keep doing it uh, until he's 80 and then that time also he wants a ten thousand dollars so uh, so he goes to the bank uh, or he goes to the policy maker and uh, or the insurance company or, uh, or anyone who is selling the uh, uh, the annuity and he wants or ask them that how much money do I need to pay you right now to get this cash flow for the next 15 years so when it comes to that calculation we we call this uh, arrangement of cash flow as annuities and then the the always the question is that how to calculate the present value of this cash flow in the future so again this cash flow the periodic cash flow uh, of the same amount for next given years is called the annuity so now uh, let's um, calculate the present value of this uh, annuity so first I need to give you an example so suppose uh, the interest rate is uh, 10% so if you deposit thousand dollars into the bank then how much it should be after one year it should be thousand plus interest then 10% interest so 10% of thousand is hundred dollars so that will give you eleven hundred dollars so that is your amount after one year okay, if you want to back calculate it what you have to do is you have to divide the 1100 by 1 1.1 which is also called 1 plus r where r is equal to 0 0.1 because we have 10 percent so it's 0 0.1 if it's 5 percent then it will be 0 0.05 so if you back calculate it you can go back and say 1100 divided by 1.1 is equal to 1000 so you can back calculate this way so now how to calculate the annuity so now let's go back to the example and we have payments so this is uh, our um, uh, time zero so let's say t is equal to zero and this is one this is two this is three this is four and our payments are p so no there is no payment at the zero and there is a payment p p P and P right so how will I calculate that and the present value so present value will be equal to so this we, we have to get back calculate the first payment for one year so that will be equal to P divided by 1 plus R then back calculate second payment for two years so that will be equal to P divided by 1 plus R whole square and then P divided by 1 plus R whole cube and then we have to keep doing this and add them together and we have to do it for 1 plus r is to power n where n is equal to years of payment right so now how do we calculate this so we can take p as a common and then say 1 divided by 1 plus r plus 1 divided by 1 plus r square and then same to 1 divided by 1 plus r is to power n and if you look at this series carefully this is a geometric series so you can solve this um, by saying p into 1 minus 1 plus r is to power n divided by 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus r so this is your value of the annuity so this is how you calculate the annuity so so this is your present value 
now we can do many other things so now let's take an example if we have a annuity so now i defined your annuity and you have this values right and you make a payment so you make a payment like this one 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 and one and i told you the value for this is uh, one minus one by one plus r raised to power n divided by one minus one by one plus r right so this is your value uh, of the annuity right so this is the value at this point right so this is i should say this is the value right now suppose if you want to calculate the future value of this payment so suppose instead of now taking uh, annual payment you are giving the annual payment so you're depositing so now there's a guy who deposit the money into the bank so he saved ten thousand dollar every year and he deposit to the bank and then so so he making ten thousand to the bank uh, for uh, at the end of so so this is your first year so he on the december he make first payment and then on the second year he make another ten thousand dollars and he keep doing it for 20 years so how will we calculate that payment so for this one we don't have to do the separate calculation we only have to do is so we want to calculate the value here so last time we calculated the value here at this point now we want to calculate the value at this point so at the end of the period so all we have to do is we have to take this annuity so 1 minus 1 plus 1 by r is by n divided by 1 minus 1 by 1 plus r and we multiply this by because this is the present value this is the value at t0 so if we deposit this much amount at t0 then it will have an interest of 20 years so all we have to do is, is to multiply this by 1 plus r is to power n and that will be the value that will be the value for the um, for the uh, future value of the annuity or the future value at the end of the period so this is how you calculate the 